Hello and welcome to our today's lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to work on the last part of Unit 17, which is about numbers and the laws of arithmetic. And this part is aimed to check the student's understanding of the unit. So before solving the questions, I want to say something about the laws of arithmetic. The first law is commutative law. Commutative commutative law. In commutative law, it says when we multiply or add two or more numbers, changing the places of the number does not change the product or the sum. Suppose if you multiply 3 and 4, 3 times 4 can be equal to 4 times 3. Although we change the places of the numbers, we still get 12. So changing the places of the numbers does not change the product. The second one is the associative law. The associative law. According to the associative law, changing the grouping of the numbers does not change the product or does not change the sum. Let me give two examples over here. The first one, two times four times five. And the other one, three plus 6 plus 3 plus 6 plus 7. In the first one, we have 2 times 4 times 5. The aim of the associative law is to make the work easier or to make us be able to do or to solve a problem mentally. Now, 2 times 4 is 8. We can easily calculate. But if we want to make it easier, we can group 2 and 5 and then multiply it by 4. So we can make it like this. 2 times 5 times 4. 2 times 5 is 10 and 10 times 4 is 40. Now multiplying 10 and 4 is much easier than 2 times 4 which is 8 and 8 times 5. Over here we have 3 plus 6 plus 7. If we change the grouping, if we change the grouping, we can add to near multiple of 10, to near multiple of 10. Suppose if you make this way, 3 plus 7 plus 6. Now 3 plus 7 is 10 and 10 plus 6 is equal to 16. This associative law makes our work much easier. The third one is distributive law. Distributive law, distributive law. Distributive law says if we multiply a number with a bigger number, suppose if we have 36 times 3. So when we have a bigger number like 36 or maybe bigger than 36, we can break the bigger one into two or three numbers. So here we break it into 30 plus 6. Now we multiply it by 3. When we multiply the broken number, we have to multiply each one separately. So 3 times 30 is equal to 90 plus, we give the plus sign here, 3 times 6 is 18. So 90 plus 18 will be equal to 108. This is the distributive law of arithmetic. So the last thing that we discussed in this unit was the law of order of operation. Order of operation. The law of order of operation. According to the law of order of operation, when we have two or three operations, we have to follow a rule. And that rule says, let me give the equation first. 3 plus 8 divided by 4. Or maybe, or maybe 6 minus, 6 minus 12 divided by 6. 6 minus 12 divided by 6. So to do this problem, to solve this problem, we have to use the rule of order of operation. According to the rule, we have to first calculate the multiplication and division first. So over here in both problems, we have division. 
So we have to calculate the division first. We have to do this calculation. 8 divided by 4 is 2 and 3 plus 2 is 5. This is how we can do according to the rule of order of operation. In the second one also, we have to first do this calculation. 12 divided by 6 is 2 and 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. So this is how we can use the rule of order of operation and we will use all these four rules to solve the four given questions of this part. Let's go to the first question. In the first question it says, Aaron calculates 6 times 5 times 9 times 2 mentally. He says, I can find the answer by multiplying 54 by 10. Explain how he knows this. How he knows this. According to the commutative law, changing the places of the number does not change the product and also changing the grouping of the numbers which is the rule of associative or associative law or changing the grouping of the number does not change the product. So we have 6 times 5 times 9 times 2. We change the places of the numbers. We write this way 6 times 9 times 5 times 2. Now 6 times 9 is 54 and 2 times 5 is 10. Now 54 times 10, we already found it out, will be equal to 540. The question is solved. In the second question, it says, Marcus calculates 19 times 4 using this method. This is using arrays to solve a problem. But he used the method of near multiple of 10. 19 is near multiple of 10, which is 20. In place of 19, he has calculated 4 by 20, or multiplied 4 by 20. 20 times 4 is 80. But he, had, he has made a mistake over here. The mistake is subtracting 1. When he adds 1 to 19, that 1 is multiplied by 4. So he has to reduce or minus 4 numbers or completely 1 column to get the correct answer. So in place of subtracting 1, he has to subtract 4 from 80 and get 76, which is the correct answer. In question 3, it says calculate. Here, we have to follow the rule of order of operation. We have to do the multiplication and division first and then the addition and subtraction. So because here we have division, we have to divide 8 by 4 and then add it by 6. And then add it by 16. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And 16 plus 2 is equal to 8. In part B, we have 16 minus 3 times 2. Again, we have to do the multiplication first. 3 times 2 is 6. And 16 minus 6 is equal to 10. In part C, we have 8 times 7 minus 2. So 8 times 7 should be done first. Then 2 should be subtracted from. 8 times 7 is 56. 56 minus 2 is equal to 54. 54. Well, question 3 is also solved. So in question 4, it says copy and complete this calculation. To solve this problem, the book has used the distributive law. So according to the distributive law, the bigger number should be broken into two or three numbers. They have broken into two numbers. They have made 20 and 4. 20 times 7 is 140 and 4 times 7 is 28. 140 plus 28 will be equal to 168. This is how we can use the laws of arithmetic which are commutative law, associative law, distributive law and also the law of order of operation to do the related questions. I hope it helps you how to use the given laws with the operations which need more than one steps. So please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you still have not subscribed. Share the video with your friends, your classmates and your students as well. 
Have a nice time and thank you so much.